Hi there folks and welcome to this week's Bot Solutions for the Daily Rigger issue 79. Ok so we make no apologies for this as you can see from the date Sunday the 2nd of December. That must mean that it's officially almost Christmas. So you may notice a certain theme around this week's um, edition. That there's quite a few Christmas themed questions. Anyway, let's kick off with supermarkets raising the price of Christmas biscuits. And so it begins. I mean families are spending an average of £800 in Christmas. And, and you can see why even little things like Christmas biscuits going up in price from last year. So let's answer a few questions here. So as does Christmas milk and dark and white chocolate biscuits, first of all, they've risen in price by 33 and a third percent. So last year they were £3. What's their price this year? Well, we work out the increase, first of all, and we do that by working out 33 and a third percent of £3. In other words, we divide three pounds by three, so it's a one pound increase, which means that the new price is going to be three pounds add one pound, which is four pound. I think that's quite a significant jump if you think of all your items rising by roughly by that rate. So let's look at the Sainsbury's case, the shortbread selection. Um, so that's increased um, partially due to the increase in price of butter. And so it's increased in price by 20%. But let's read the wording of the question. It gives us this year's price is £6. What was the price last year? So this is actually undoing a percentage increase. And there's loads of different ways you could have did it, trial and error being one of them. But, you know, if you're doing it the sophisticated method, it's the old blank percent equals 1% equals 100% equals because we're thinking about last year's price being 100%. So this year's price is a 20% increase in 100%. So the blank percent would stand for 120%. And that's going to equal £6 because that's what it costs this year. So the middle step, we can find 1% by doing 6 divided by 120, which comes to 0 0.05. And to get 100%, so last year's amount, we multiply the 1% by 100, and that comes to £5, the price last year. Like I said, more than one way you could have done that problem. That's the most sophisticated, dare I say, National 5 way of doing it. Okay, in part C, um, we've got the gingerbread man from Morrison, 65 pence last year, 80 pence this year. So calculate the percentage increase. Well, we need the increase first, and we get that by taking the two prices away from each other. So it's an increase of 15 pence. So to get the percentage increase, we do 15 divided by last year's amount, which is 65p. And then this makes it a decimal. So to change the percentage, we should know by now, we times by 100. And it's going to count as very close to 23%. And the question did ask us to round it to the nearest percent anyway. Okay, so a not Christmas story, an entertainment story. So you should be aware of the strawberry scandal in the jungle. So there was 44 strawberries and Amir and Ian ate them all themselves. Now, assuming they did what they were supposed to and then um, give them back to their campmates, they were going to be shared equally between the 11. How much would they each have got? Well, that's just a straightforward divide, isn't it? And of course, the answer is four strawberries each. But instead, Ian and Amir, the greedy pigs, yeah, shared them in the ratio of five to six. How many more strawberries did they need to eat than Ian? So it's proportional division. So Again, we've got a week in a template for this one. You know, the middle step being we're working out one share. This is going to allow us to work out Ian's five shares and Amir's six shares. But first of all, we need to work out how many ways the strawberries have been shared in total. So that's going to come to 11. So 11 shares is equals 44, the total amount of strawberries. So that means one share would be 44 divided by 11, which is going to come to 4. So 5 shares is 5 times 1 share. In other words, 5 times 4, which is 20. 6 shares is 6 times 1 share. So 6 times 4, which is 24. So Ian had 20, Amir had 24. And remember, um, Rigger Man's the sad type of person that would count these kind of things. So I'll let's answer the question, how many more strawberries did Amir eat than Ian? So we take these away from each other. So Amir had 4 extra strawberries. And I just think it's it was so much the greediness, because they are starving, these guys out in the jungle. It was more about the lion, and you don't do that to your fellow teammates, do you? Okay, so we've got a wee money story now. So we're talking about £800 a year families are spending. So this mum used some pretty impressive CFE budgeting skills. Um, last year when she planned to make a Christmas dinner for a family of six for £20. And here's where she got all her things and the prices. And apparently it tasted quite nice. And there was lots left over for Boxing Day as well. So did she manage to stick to her budget? So obviously we're going to add up everything that's got. It's £8.99. Add £1.49. Add 19 pence. We'd have to put this in as 0 0.19. Um, then add 0 0.20. What we've got now, add £3.99. Add 0 0.78. 
add £5.36. So that all comes to £21 exactly. So the answer is no, she didn't stick to her budget. And our reason could be because 21 is greater than 20, which was her budget. Don't get me wrong, still a fantastically valiant effort. We should mention though that this didn't include drinks. So how much did her Christmas dinner cost per portion? Well, this was to, this £21 was to feed six people. So if we do 21 divided by 6, it means it was £3.50 a head. So a fantastic effort there. And maybe um, it's a way that some of us can save some money this Christmas. Okay, last story. So we've got Prince George asked Santa for a police car. Well, his dad asked the big man himself um, on George's behalf um, in a recent visit to Finland. Because, of course, that's what Lapland is, isn't it? So what we've done is we've done some investigating for Prince William. And we found this... Um, this Finnish police car and it was nine euros fifty in this company called Box and actually offering a, a genuine special offer. Google it and you'll see yourself. Buy three, get one free. So if Prince William's taking advantage of this special offer, how much will he pay for each police car in pounds and pence? Well, if he's he's gonna get four of them, but he's only gonna pay for three of them. So the amount he'll pay is nine euros fifty times three, which comes to twenty eight euros and fifty cents. But how much would it cost for each car? He's only paid for three, but he's now got four of them. So the cost per car, or the equivalent cost per car, will be €28.50 Euros 50 divided by four, which is €7. Euros, and OK, we could round to €0.13, cents, but I'm not going to round until the end. So I've left it at 7.125. Now, how do we change this into pounds and pence? Well, we divide by the exchange rate. And as you can see down here, the exchange rate, the current one is one, one pound equals €1.14. Euro 14 cents. So if we do 7.125 divided by 1.14, works out rather nicely, is £6.25 per police car. Um, obviously that's not going to include postage and packaging, but maybe Prince William can bring them back with him. With him. So if you're reading this Prince William, um, that's where you would get a police car from. I did actually get a nice one for Rigger Baby myself out of um, Home Bargains. But um, that, w that way you can actually get him one from Finland, which is the country where Lapland, the home of Santa Claus is. Anyway, guys, there you have it. That was our What Solutions for the Daily Regular Issue 79. Hope you enjoyed that. And hope you're enjoying these regular opportunities to improve your numeracy skills um, in a real-life context. Stay tuned for next week's edition. Where we're going to be looking at more stories um, from the news of the week and Christmas, of course, and the numbers behind them. But in the meantime, ho, ho, ho. Thanks for watching and bye for now.